What's up, guys? I'm Captain Mike. Welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. Uh, Wednesday, July 13th, I believe it is. A uh, couple things I want to talk to you about here today. For starters, our topic of conversation is going to be about hooks. You know, it's rarely discussed, but this little ingredient is absolutely vital to your success on the water, regardless if you're chasing snook to swordfish. It really doesn't matter. It all comes down to the hook. So really, really important. Uh, just a couple quick and you know kind of announcements that I want to mention to you. We've got an awesome seminar coming up tomorrow night at Chaos up in Pompano on dolphin fishing. If you're in the area, I'm not even sure if there's any available seats remaining, but if you're in the area, make sure you check it out. Um, but I promise you we're going to have the seminar posted right here on Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus one day next week. So just keep your eyes out. Certainly you'll receive a notification and you'll be able to watch the entire seminar, uh, of course, ad-free right here. Right now, episodes of Florida Sport Fishing TV, season 12. These are repeat shows that have already aired on Bally's across Florida. They're also here on this site um already posted but they're now airing on world fishing network through december january 2023 our new season and our very best season yet i promise you that is going to kick off like i said in january on the sportsman channel across the country simultaneously our new series captain mike's rigging station which i'm totally fired up about totally raw unscripted you're gonna guys are gonna love this show it's really designed to make you a more successful angler it really is um, and to shorten that learning curve to get right down to it so that's gonna kick off in january as well on bally sports across florida However, as members of Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus, you're going to have access to all of that new content before anyone else. So all of those new shows are going to be posted here uh, prior to even airing on television. And again, you'll get notifications so you can watch them right here at your comfort. All right, enough of that. Let's get right to it. Hooks. I don't know, man. There's millions of different hooks out there, right? Uh, literally countless different designs, styles, shapes, sizes for all sorts of different fisheries. I wanted to share with you my choice in hooks because I've narrowed it down. I really have. And I don't use such a wide selection. So I wanted to talk to you about my particular choices and why I fish, you know, any particular hook. Understand first and foremost, the biggest decision is, am I fishing a J hook? There it is right there, you know, obviously shaped like a J. Or am I fishing a circle hook where the tip of that hook comes back in right there? You know, that's the first decision that I have to make. Well, for starters, if I'm fishing live bait, pilchards, goggle eyes, ballyhoo, even pinfish, you know, up on top for king mackerel, dolphin, I'm generally going to be fishing a J hook. Nine out of ten times, I'm going to be fishing a J-hook right there. It's a live bait hook. It's a VMC. In this particular case, it's the 7265. This is a 70 size. I fish this size right here. This is the hook for larger baits, whole squid, for dolphin, a whole ballyhoo or a ballyhoo plug or a big chunk. That's the hook that I'm fishing. I fish it generally on nothing less than 30 or 40 pound leader material. It's a relatively big hook. I'm gonna be putting a lot of heat on a fish with that hook. So that's it right there. Now understand that I use that same hook, that same hook in a size 5.0 for smaller baits, pilchards, smaller pins, even the little dinky ballyhoos and little runners. Um, so it all depends on the size of the bait, because obviously you don't want to impale a 7.0 hook into a fragile little 4-inch thread fin or something like that, or sardine. You're going to kill that bait, so you've got to scale that hook down. But the style of hook, the design of the hook, the purpose of the hook remains the same. So that's really my first choice. Again, it's number 7265. You'll see some little initials, CB, Coastal Black, that's just the finish on the outside of the hook. Um, it doesn't affect the size or the style of the hook. It's just a corrosion resistant finish. I think you'll really appreciate that. And again, that's the 7.0 and I fish it in a 5.0 for smaller baits. 
hook number one in the entire mix. Next, and perhaps the most popular, common, vital hook that I fish is that tournament circle hook number 7385. You guys have heard me talk about this hook more than probably any other hook in the entire VMC arsenal. I fish this circle hook for almost everything. On all my bottom fishing rigs when I'm fishing circle hooks, size 3.0, 5.0, 7.0, or 9.0. Those four sizes cover everything that I'm gonna target from yellowtail snapper and some juvenile or smaller snapper species on the reef. I might stay with that 3.0, even vermilion snappers. Okay, I like that 3.0 size. And then I'll bump it up, like I said, progressively, the 7.0 is what I'm primarily fishing for the mutton snappers, cobias, big pin fish, ballyhoo on this hook. It's also a great dolphin hook as well, by the way. Uh, but that 7.0 size, real, real popular for me for everything that I do here in the Florida Keys. From there, I'll bump it up to the 9.0 size, same hook, 7385. In a 9.0, that's the hook that I'm fishing on the bottom, all my deep drop rigs, a larger single hook rig if I'm fishing for big groupers down deep, things to that nature, it's gonna be that 9.0 size. But again, I have to stress, that's the hook on all of my deep drop rigs is that 9.0. Also, if I'm going to bridle a circle hook to a large live bait like a, a Speedo, uh, a tinker mackerel, a big goggle eye, it's gonna be that 9-0 circle hook as well. It's got a big bite and really, really like that hook. But what's important about these tournament circle hooks is they're super thin, but super strong. I mean, look at look how thin that is. And that's real important right there because the thinner that gauge is, okay, the less harm it's gonna do to your bait, the more stealthy and the more natural of a presentation you're gonna have, regardless if you're fishing a live bait or a dead bait. You're just gonna have an all around cleaner, more effective presentation. But you gotta be careful because a lot of hooks with thin shanks will bend and they'll break. That's not the case with these VMC tournament circle hooks. These things are just, they're like bulletproof. I mean, they're made out of vanadium steel. Don't even ask me what vanadium steel is. All I know is it's something that's really, really strong. So great hook right there. Again, I'll show you that box. It's the tournament circle, 7385, 30, 50, 70, 90. That covers me across the board. The other circle hook that I'll fish is called a Nemesis circle hook. Now, what's real unique about this hook, let's get this out of here. And again, by the way, the number of this hook is an 8382, okay? It's also a circle hook, okay? But it does have that thicker shank right there. It's a stronger hook, really, really strong, incredibly strong, 3X strong. I use that for tuna fishing in the 3.0 size for yellow fins in the Bahamas. And you may look at that and say, wow, Mike, that's a really small hook for you know a yellowfin tuna that could exceed 100 pounds, but it really isn't. It's not about the size of the hook. It's about the strength of the hook. It's small, I can hide it in that bait, okay? Or if it's uh, you know in the, in the nose or nostrils of a live bait, they don't see it all that well. And of course, if it's buried in a chunk, they could barely see it. And you get them right there, right in that tough part right in the corner of the mouth, right there. And yellow fins have a real tough area right in that wedge right there. So you don't need a giant hook. And once that's embedded in that corner, you're not pulling them off. I'm telling you, you're not pulling them off. You're not gonna straighten out the hook. So stay away from those large hooks. You know, I don't know, see if I can find something to give you an example here. You know, just bottom line, stay away from a large hook when you're looking for the yellow fins, you know something like this size, you don't need it. You absolutely don't need it. That's all that you need right there is real small, 3-0. The only time that I'm gonna fish that hook is for the yellow fins, by the way. If I'm tuna fishing specifically, that's my hook of choice, the Nemesis circle hook. From there, all of my ballyhoo and a lot of my trolling lures that I rig, you know, that I'm rigging on long shank hooks like that right there. Look at that long shank. It's got a nice bite, same coastal black 
okay? It's got a forged long shank, which means it's just really incredibly strong. And in this particular size, it's a 9.0, number 9255. There it is right there. And that's the hook that I'm gonna use, like I said, to rig all of my feathers, my little jets, um, different types of little trolling lures. I just happen to have some right here, a little chugger there you can see. It's, by the way, it's on a Dubro uh, leader and lure keeper, but you can see that same hook is right there. So that's it. You know, that's what I'm using to rig most, most of my trolling lures, okay, is that VMC number 9255, again, CB, the Coastal Black. That's what those initials signify. Assist hooks on my jigs. Look, you guys know I do a lot of jig fishing, a lot, a lot of jig fishing. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and these assist hooks, these tandem assist hooks that VMC recently introduced, are perfect. They don't have a lot of flash, although they do offer these with some tinsel and some added pizzazz if that's what you would like. These in particular are very clean, okay, very strong, very light, and very sharp. And that's what you need. Those are the ingredients for quality assist hooks. So on all my jigs, that's it. That's it. That's the whole lineup of all of the hooks that I'm fishing. It's very rare that I'll fish anything other than what I just mentioned to you. Maybe, you know what, a fish fighter treble. Sometimes when we're mackerel fishing in the winter time here in the Keys and you've got small scale baits, pilchard, stuff like that. You know, you put a small J hook in there, like that 5.0 that I mentioned to you, that live bait hook, that's the hook that we're gonna be fishing in that small live bait. And sometimes you just have a hard time hooking those big kings. You tend to miss a lot of them. But if you put that small treble, okay, right there, that fish fighter treble, it's a one size, actually a 1.0 size, I should say. But again, very, very strong, 6X. How about that? Six times strong. So I don't know what that gauge is, you know, what they're multiplying it by, but I know when it says 3X or 6X, that's a damn strong hook, bottom line. So again, sometimes I'll pick off a specialty hook if I'm replacing lures, if I'm replacing hooks on lures and I need that eye in the correct orientation, you know, I'll use an inline hook right there. A very specialty hook for a particular reason, but for the vast part of my fishing, whenever I'm bottom fishing, it's the tournament circle hook in various sizes. Whenever I'm live bait fishing, there it is in either 5.0 or 7.0, right there. If I'm rigging some lures, you know, narrow it down, but know your hooks, know them well, trust your hooks, because I'm gonna tell you what, when it all comes down to it, the only thing keeping you connected to your fish is that hook.